Hi everyone, it's here. Thanks for stopping by. So we've got a smiley Amazon package today. Uh, and yeah, I know what this is because I ordered it and it came the next day. Yay! I do like Amazon Prime. Okay, so moving on from the storage that I got the other day and the foam inset that I got to put storage into, I thought, hmm, just have a look and see if I can find a box that it'll fit in. Um, so I've ordered one and let's see if it's big enough. Okay. Oh, and it came with lots of extra goodies as well. You know what I'm like. And I actually paid full price for this. No coupons, no discounts or anything. But I thought it was a good price anyway for what it was. So it's come with some nice bubble wrap. Oh, bubble wrap. I'll play with that later. <laughs> Okay, and trust me, I've got it upside down. Okay, so it's a nice storage container and oh dear, I don't think it's like the ones I've already got, which is a shame because I know that my insert doesn't fit in there. But anyway, let's have a look and see what we've got. So we've got good fastening clasps. It's just got that one little hanger there really, I think for the shops um, for hanging them up, but you can use it as a hanger. Uh, yeah, it'd have to be quite a long nail though, wouldn't it, to get it off the wall unless you hung it that way and then it's still quite a sizeable long hanger or nail to put that through. But yeah, so it's a storage set and this one has come to me from Osun EU Store, uh, K-O-S-O-N-E. I'll put the link down below and it was £13.99 for everything that you get in the package. Now, I did think, okay... Uh, I'm paying full price, but it's got one of those and it's got a lot of those. So, oh wow, these have all uh, moved about a little bit. So it's a 64 grid storage case. Looks like some of our labels have decided to start sticking themselves already. They've got fed up of waiting and they've decided to uh, add themselves to the little containers. Let's get those little critters back in place over there. Okay. So I presume we've got 64 stickers. I'm not going to count them, but uh, yeah, nice sticker sheets. So I've got all these little tic tac boxes that have gone everywhere. Ah, ah, um, oh dear, right. They've all fallen over. That's probably me jiggling them around as well. They're all the wrong way around. So I'm just going to ignore them for, oh dear. Just let me ignore the tic tac boxes for a minute and let's see what else we've got. Okay. So yeah, one of the reasons why I didn't mind paying full price is because it has got one of these speedball brayers or rollers or whatever people call them. Just, uh... Right, when I was doing my card making and stamping, uh, there's a fantastic lady called Barbara Gray that does a lot of stamping. She invented clear stamps. Um, if you're into stamping and she uses these a lot to get effects by putting ink onto the roller and inking your paper and shows you all different ways of doing it so that's what I know them as but they're also good for flattening down your diamond paintings so if you're finding that your drills are starting to pop or they're not sitting flat then just pop in a roller over the top I usually go one way and then the other um, just helps to flatten your drills and I've got one of them but again one means I've got to run up and down stairs because it's always in the wrong place whenever you want it. If I'm upstairs it's downstairs and if I'm downstairs it's upstairs. So now I've got two so I don't have to keep running up and down stairs. This one doesn't seem quite as good quality as my card making one that I've got that I'm using. Uh, there's a little bit of rubber coming off there on there and it's not you wouldn't call this one a speedball brayer because it's not really a, it's not speeding round but it still works and it will still work for squishing diamond paintings so that's good so you usually pay to be honest about five or six pound for those so i thought well i did want another one of these so six pound for that leaves this what seven eight pound for the box with all those in which yeah is reasonable is a good price uh, then we've got your straightener which these are good straighteners I've got quite a few of these very good for getting in between your diamonds let me see if I can grab a painting right, just grab this little painting it was the nearest one I had to hand um, it's like starry night with a little German Shepherd on it so if you're gonna roll oh 
and if you drill that laying flat you get that lovely click don't need a huge amount of pressure but i just tend to go one way and then the other and then as you're diamond painting this is just for getting in between your drills or even when you're starting off if you're wanting to get a straight edge when you start off you could pop this in place and put your drills butt it up to it to keep it a nice straight edge and as you're going along you can just run it along and keep your drills straight so yeah i really like these uh, i've got quite a few of them so another one won't go amiss or it can go into some happy mail at some point so put this little woof back over there and then we've got two lots of tool kits which again i will probably donate but it's always worth having a look i mean if somebody's just starting out diamond painting this is an excellent set you know if you got gave them a diamond painting and then wanted to buy them you know they say oh what else do i need if i want to do some diamond painting well storage is always um a good thing you don't need it you can always just use little grip seal bags or whatever or the little bags that they come in but yeah i like storage containers okay so let's see what's in this one so we have a big chunk of wax which is a little bit uh, see through it's the pink wax which isn't the best but i mean it still works it just means you have to fill your pen a lot more uh, it is a mosfer boat and it's called mosfer because it says mosfer on the bottom <laughs> and the ridges tend to come a little bit further up on these when you get the uh, white ones with the flat bottom you tend to find that your ridges to put your drills in only come up to the part where it starts narrowing so you can't straighten as many drills but they're okay and they're good for like special drills and things like that standard little green boat um, we've got three, I'm not quite sure why they've sent two, but anyway, uh, three single places, the pink pens, and these are the old styles of the multi-places. Let me just grab my card. So that one is a three-placer. Yeah, that's a three. Okay. That one, I think, is, is it a four? Is it a five? No, that's a five. Okay, oops, I'm not doing this very well, so you can see, am I? This is getting really tatty. Look, my glue's starting to go yellow now, so I'm going to have to do another one of these. Uh, so that's a five, because I can never tell what these are. And then that one, is that a nine? Is it a ten? Ooh, uh, no, it's a nine. So that's a nine placer. So we've got um, a three a seven and a nine placer and then what's this pen in this one let's have a look is that another or is that a that's a six so that's a six placer all right okay so a good selection of multi places um yeah i said i don't use these people say the old ones aren't as easy to use they don't pick the drills up i presume it's because they're thicker so when you're picking them up from the tray it maybe goes it doesn't go quite as straight or pick the drills up quite as well now somebody was asking me um about picking up special drills and doing crystals and things now if you use one of these um a three placer you can actually get more wax in them so you've got sort of a bigger surface area so if you put your wax into there i find that these are pretty good at picking up your special drills your bigger ones because your single end um doesn't sort of hold as much doesn't have as much grip whereas this end actually will and you can see from this end you know and it can pick we'll up get a special drill painting and show you uh, maybe picking up special drills and how i do my special drills that might be easier but uh, thank you for the questions uh, please do keep them coming and if you don't sort of fully understand what i say because i know sometimes writing it down doesn't come across as well as it should uh, then please by all means just get back in touch and say i don't understand that and i will try and do a little video or try and explain it a little bit better so that's those so they will all just get donated hopefully somebody can use them we've got some of those plastic tweezers which again i, I don't use um i find them they're just too bendable just don't really i mean they'll pick up anything large i suppose you know they're, they're tweezers they'll pick something up but for precision work and picking up drills i don't think you've got the pressure to be able to pick them up but anyway they're just an extra so then that's 
those boats there. Put the wax back into that boat there. Oops. Go on, get in, get in, get in. And then it looks like they've sent us another green tray. Quite a strange mixture, this. Oh, some more wax. Uh, just four squares in that one. So that's ten squares of wax all together. For thirteen ninety nine, you know it's it's a good set. It's uh, usable, reasonable, and then a huge amount of grip seal bags. What do you reckon's there? I think there might be more than twenty, maybe thirty, between twenty and thirty possibly. So yeah, just some grip seal bags, always useful, always handy. So I'll keep those out. Okay, and then we've got these little critters. Oh, and we have got lots of the little dividers that go in between them. Um, the other containers that I've had haven't had these dividers. So what I'm going to do before I... Oh, look, there's another one there as well. Right, okay. So let's just pop those in the lid there. We've got three of those, one of those. I wonder if there's any more. What I'm going to do, because I have got... I have got one container with 64 of the uh, Tic Tac containers in. These are the smaller Tic Tac containers. So I've got that one there, but I haven't got any spares of these. So I thought, right, I need some spares anyway. And I do tend to play about with my storage. Um, I don't always end up with the same storage in the same case. So that's some spare round bottles that I had that I've put into this uh, foam side of this. If you want to see the unboxing of this and me showing this and the details, I'll put the link to the video. It's the one day before yesterday, I think. <laughs> And uh, yeah, that's what I decided to do with uh, this, is put these in so that it straightens out a little bit. But unfortunately, this is just going to be too big to fit in here unless I cut some off. And that just ain't going to work really, because I don't want to buy it and then have to cut some off. But let's get these put into here. Oh, put them the right way, Liz. Put them the right way. Can't not have them the right way. They're driving me mad. They're all crying at me. Put us the right way around. I want to put the little critters in here first. Let's use these that are all higgledy piggledy. Oops. Okay. What did we say? I think they said there was 40 in this one. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 8, 16, 24, 32, 40. Yes, yeah, so there's 40 of these. So I will have some of these left over as well. Okay. Sometimes handy just to have an odd extra one left over for spares if you're kitting up but i don't think i would use this well i suppose uh, somebody did say i'm sorry i can't remember who it was um you could use the smaller ones in your square storage the new square storage container i've got for smaller amounts of drills and keep the bigger ones for the bigger amounts of drills because those squares really do take an awful lot of drills i was well impressed with that i am using that at the moment i am doing my uh, Christmas Scotty, um, that's for smash, um, smashing the specials, I've got specials on the brain, can you tell I'm excited for August to come, <laughs> hopefully it won't be quite so hot in August, I'll be, it's supposed to be hotter in August because it's our summer but I'm hoping it won't be as hot as it is at the moment, um, I'm trying to get a few videos filmed at the moment as well because I just know I'm not going to be able to get into my craft room in the next few days it's going up to between 94 and 98 degrees here um, and with humidity that's just going to be unbearable so it's going to be a case of being in well ventilated places with lots of hopefully a bit of cold air blowing through okay so that's got our 40 in now so that's caged all that together I mean dare I tip it upside down Ooh, I think if they had drills in, I think the weight of that just may tip them out. But I mean, it, you can pick it up. So I did think about cutting it in half. Right, I just need to take all these out of here. Okay. Now then, I do think this case is identical to the other one I got. Yes, it is, because it's got the handles on it. Let's just take those bits out as well and take that one out. 
um, yeah, it's got the grip handles on it, which is a shame because that means that nothing sits flat. But I've got a solution for that as well. So watch this space. So how much smaller does this need to be? Yeah, it's it's not even. Yeah, it's a lot too big. That's a shame. I really wanted to find a container that that would fit in. Okay, so I need one that's a little bit bigger than this. So let's give this one a measure. So I do believe it's the same size as the other ones that I've got. Um, tape measure, tape measure. up 30 centimeters just under 12 inches uh, so yeah so this is yeah this needs to be about 31 30 so it needs to be about between 31 and 32 centimeters so one and a quarter uh, sorry 12 and a quarter inches the container to fit these in it's not quite wide enough either so that one is 20, just under 20 centimetres, which is about seven and three quarter inches. I think the depth's okay. Well, we know the depth's okay because these fit in it. So the depth, I've got plenty of depth on it. It's just not quite big enough. Yeah, six centimetres, which is two and a half inches, just up to so that's a shame but never mind but anyway i've got that filled out now so that will sit nicely um and fluff itself out and straighten itself out so, okay, see if you put one there. and then if you put it that way then you're gonna have a lot of extra space at the end i really wanted something that these would sit in nicely i suppose i could buy another empty 30 storage case and they would go into a 30 storage case I'll have to have a think about that one and see what I'm going to do with that. This is an identical case that I got ooh, when Vipon were doing really good offers last year. And I think I probably only paid about four or five pounds for this one. And it was full of all sorts. So me being me, uh, the offer was on again the next day. So I got two. So there are some identical cases to this one. I, well... <laughs> Yeah, the blue is slightly different colour, but the size and everything are the same. And this one came with all these bottles. And again, they don't sit flat, which drives me mad. So what I've done with it is just lined it all out with... I've used some of the hardboard that I got by mistake. So I've put... If you can oh, tip it upside down and show you, that'd be easier. I've cut a piece of hardboard and put it on the bottom there so it's nice and flat now well as flat as it's going to be and then in between all the bottles oops, I've just cut out some pieces of the hardboard just to slot in in between and um, somebody did give me this idea and again I am sorry I love reading all your ideas because I like trying them out um, and then I like to share them because that's how you learn isn't it everybody has great ideas so yeah keep those ideas coming and let's share the love share the ideas so yeah I cut out those and put them in between each row so rather than having a case that's all lumpy bumpy that doesn't sit straight and when you take one out they all fall down forward and they're not easy to use i've now got a fully usable case and this has got 66 yeah 66 11 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 yeah i knew i'd come to the 11 don't know why i'm doubting myself so we've got 66 bottles in this so it's actually larger than a 66 a 60 bottle container um, it's only about the same footprint as a 60 bottle container so it's not going to take up any more room but you can get those extra six colours in and when you're doing diamond painting I do find that you do tend to get things with like 34 and 62 and you think oh I just need an extra two bottles so now I've got them so I thought that was quite a good idea and I may do that with this one as well so I've now got extra cases that fit extra ones in which is brilliant so just an idea there and it stops them moving around as well so just putting those bits it does need to be quite a firm piece of card though 
I think if you used foam board, it would maybe be too thick. But that hard board, with it being quite thick um, and quite strong, I just kept them all in place there. I may put a bit of foam board just along the back, actually, or back and front, just to keep them a bit more in place. But then I suppose you don't want them too tight, otherwise you're not going to get them out. So, yeah, I now have a 66 container. Right, so... The extra bits that I got, I've put in here, um, which were like these little, the little plastic stand bits. Oh, got a drill stuck down there, look. I'll get that out in a bit. It's a little square that's got stuck in it. So I have used these. As I say, it's just that they're not level and it does just drive me that little bit scatty. <laughs> so I thought I could maybe use condense this one down um, and put it as just little squares so you could use it for all sorts. Do these just slot in? Yes they do because they're all the same system. Uh, put that one there. Will it slot in? It's just not wanting to go. Oh no, it only goes down that far. That's strange. Why does that only do that then? What am I doing wrong with this? I've got that upside down, that's why it's... <laughs> Oh dear, I'm blaming the heat still. I'm blaming the heat. It's over 80 again today and the humidity is horrid. That's not wanting to go in there. It's bending a bit because it's not really had anything in it. So let's see if that works now. Oh no, it doesn't. No, it doesn't go down. So that's strange. So you can't have those in there then. Oh. Okay, let's just move these. Sorry, I didn't know you I was going to be doing play school with you and uh, <laughs> just playing about with bottles. I just want to see how this works. So it must just go uh, that way. It, it's funny how sort of the cheaper ones, one of them, I didn't get any of these inserts in it at all. Oh, sorry, I got that insert and the other one I got that insert and two of the smaller ones. So, you know, maybe they were like faulty. That's why they were selling them off because they knew that they'd missed bits out, possibly. Okay, so that just goes in there. So let's take that one out. So does that go? Yeah, so I see they fit in like that. And that does need to go the other way up. Yeah, that needs to go that way so that that slots in there so you can slot. It's still not wanting to slot in there, is it? Just, there must be a certain way that they go that they don't, they don't like. Oh, this is a faff. <laughs> That's it. Oh, can't see what I'm doing right. So that one goes there. We only got, oh no, we did get, oh, we've got three of these, so this. So, yes, yeah, so I can uh, sort this container. I suppose I could put pens in it, I could put wax in it, anything like that. Okay, just put that one there. Okay, and then I've got these little ones, I suppose, that, no, oh, they're not big enough to go across there, look. So they only go across that way that there's no little ridges for them to go on that one okay Ooh. right how strange i'll be having to play with this all day so let's get some of these put in here as well i'll just put them in here as spare for now Getting the right way around now, there was another lady that said, oh, thank you for putting them the right way around because it drives me mad when things are the wrong way around as well. So I am not on my own. <laughs> okay. Yeah, so we can just fit quite a few spares in here. And then we've got just four left over. Okay. Ooh. Just put those that way like that. And okay, so that's those put away in there. Oh no, I've got another one of those as well. Hmm. Let's see if 
that went the other way around. Okay, so yeah, I'll put the others into the other storage content. So it's like playing with Lego this, isn't it? Or Meccano. Just start building and deciding where to put things. <laughs> Oh, you see, that one's got ones on both sides and that one didn't have. How odd. Okay. Maybe swap them out later, so put that in there. I hope you haven't fallen asleep. <laughs> or you want them to just grab it off and say, do it this way. And then these will just slot into the back there. Very handy, very nice little storage compartments. Um, but as I say, I think I'm more likely to do it that way and put those in so that I've got a 66 storage container. That's going to be more used to me, I do believe. It's a shame I can't get my foam with my storage in, but never mind. Okay, so that's those done. Just a quick little unboxing of some more storage and some more storage ideas. So I hope you've uh, enjoyed looking at these with me. Uh, we've got quite a few of the extra bits as well, which is always very welcome. We do like extra bits. And a little roller as well. Okay, well, I hope you've enjoyed looking at these with me. Again, now uh, what storage do you use? Have you got any ideas? Um, of what you'd use these boxes for, leave them in the comments down below. So if you have enjoyed watching it, a thumbs up is always much appreciated. And if you want to come back and see what I get up to next, then if you press that subscribe button and the little notifications bell next to it, you'll be notified when any of my videos come up. So thanks ever so much for stopping by and I do hope to see you all again soon. Bye for now.